Welcome back guys and I hope you are ready to learn how to be healthy and holistic. So let's get this thing started. Now, the topic of discussion on today is abscess. Now, what people need to understand that abscess doesn't just mean pus. It means that it's an accumulation of pus or infection and inflammation in particular parts of the body. A lot of people hear the word abscess and start thinking tumors and things of that nature, but that's way further down. That's like way on some, it didn't got past, way past where it needs to be. But I'm talking about it in its most basic, simplest, beginning youth stages of accumulation. So. Whenever we're trying to deal with these types of situations and we're trying to alleviate ourselves and or heal ourselves, we have to understand that it all starts from nutrition or something that does not coincide with your body, whether it be internally or externally. You have people having different types of reactions due to allergies, stings, uh, falls, scrapes, somebody then got an open wound and something got inside of it. There's many different ways that foreign bacteria and inflammation can get inside of our body due to whatever reason. But we got some very simple ways and some techniques to help you out. So step one, I always like to say, starve the problem out. You know, you want to pull away from the meats. If you're somebody that's eating a whole bunch of meat and you have a very high starch and meat diet, I would say pull away from all of that. Let's focus more so on fruits and vegetables. These are the very things that's going to take away the supply of infection and bacteria and foreign whatever that's trying to go inside of the pus and in the inflamed area and heal the body. One thing we have to understand is that whenever we're starving the problem away, we have to replace it with nutrients. But before we even dive a little bit deeper into that, let's understand how the body works. So anytime you have any form of inflammation or foreign object that's trying to come inside the body, we have what's called a lymphatic system. A lymphatic system is the system that's designed to not only eradicate using its own bacteria through lymphatic nodes, but eradicate a bunch of foreign uh, obstacles that's within our body, bacteria, no matter what it be, and dumping this out of the digestive system, better known as the gut, and eradicating it throughout the body so we can have a happy and holistic life. Now, with all that being said, let's get started. Like I said before, we have to starve it out. Make sure you're pulling out all of these things in your diet that does not need to be there. Any animal products, any animal meats, just for the time being. Nobody's saying that you have to go plant uh, plant based or fruitarian or vegan. We're just saying for the time being and just to implement this practice within your life, you have to get to the most optimal source of detoxification and we have to get on high fruits and high vegetables. Now that's step one. Step two, I would advise you to start every morning with a mango and orange juice, whether you're blended, whether you're eating it together, whether you're juicing it, even though I feel as though juicing it would be the most optimal way of getting all of that whole food nutrients inside of your body. Essentially what's happening is we're going to hydrate the cells within the body we're going to give the body something to work with and it's loaded 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 with nutrients and it's well over 1200 calories to make sure that your body and i'm talking 32 ounces 30 to 32 ounces and let's make sure that we're satiating ourselves we're revitalizing ourselves we're giving the lymphatic fluid something to work with we're giving the digestive system something very easy to break down because it's already working to take down any type of infection and bacteria that's on the other sides of the body right so the reason why i say start off with fruit juice is because it's going to yield the most optimal levels of detoxification to get this foreign object and these things out of your body. Step three, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite herbs. I, I've been talking about this herb since I started doing this and it's dandelion root. Dandelion root is one of the most, and it, it's crazy because it's one of the herbs that you can use it in its entirety. Now, it's good that you gather it in the younger stages rather than the older stages because it's really, 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 really bitter the older that it gets. But the crazy part is the entirety and the root of the dandelion um, is really, really good for infections and for helping the lymphatic system out. And peep this, the leaves is actually a really, really good source of an optimal diuretic that you can put inside of your body. So whenever you're coming across things like infection and inflammation, and pus and things of that nature, the more you consume this, the more that you actually make a tea wash. You can actually take the dandelion uh, root and leaves itself, make a tea wash out of it and apply it on the wound, apply it on the infective parts. You know, let it seep in and get the job done and it'll flush it right out. It'll get it cleaned up out of your system and it'll fight any foreign bacteria that's trying to spread, any pus that's trying to spread and give your lymphatic system a nice, good push. Now, what's so important about dandelion root as far as its characteristics? Dandelion root has what's called inulin, not insulin, but inulin. It is something that is found in the deepest parts of the roots. And guess what? It's really, really, really good for not only the gut health, but it's good for your liver and your gallbladder. Now we must understand that the liver and the gallbladder is one of the biggest, if not the biggest glands within our body that helps with detoxification. So the more dandelion root that we pump inside of ourselves on side of coupling it with fruit juices and things of that nature, we're giving our body an optimal fighting chance to get any type of inflammation out of the body. Now, everything that I'm saying is not new. 
I want people to understand that there's nothing new under the sun. It's just new to us and we help implement it within our lives. But one thing I need you to take away from it is this. Here's a quick little tip for you. Every six months for at least two weeks, I want you to dive into dandelion root. Whether it be teas, washes, wraps, it does not matter. I want you guys to really take your gut, liver, and gallbladder health to the next level. The more you implement this within your life, the less you have to worry about medications, the less you have to worry about doing this, that, and the third. But guess what? You will be more optimal in not only your lymphatic system, but in your life. We have to understand that in order to live the most holistic life possible, we have to grab the things that are still available to us on this planet. A lot of things are withering away. Things don't hold the same nutrients as it used to, and it's really becoming a problem sometimes for us to gather what we need to heal. But I will say this, there is still an abundance of everything that we need and everything that we require to move forward holistically. I implore you to do your research. I implore you to stay on this app and to keep on checking out these videos, because guess what? As I get the dime, as I grow even more, guess what? I'm giving you the dimes. I'm giving you the gems. I'm giving you everything that you can possibly need to move forward in your holistic journey. Everything happens for a reason. Divine timing is real. You're not here for no reason. You're meant to learn. You're meant to consume. You're meant to take this very information and share it with the rest of the world. Do not hold this to yourself. Spread this. Implement it within your life. Implement it within your kids, your family, your friends, whoever. This can take somebody's life and make a complete 180 and change change it around and help you on a whole nother level. But in all things, lead with love and lead with peace. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope that this really helped you guys out and I really implore you to dive into dandelion root. It is something that is really beneficial for you and I'm hoping, just hoping, that I get a little report. I get a little result or something, you know, tag me. Coach Brian, get you fine, you know I'm all over. Make sure you tag me, you can send me a little video, a little message, something, but let's get in touch. Let's make sure you're already on the app. You already here with the family. So let's leave some comments in the video. You know, let's talk, let's start this community. Let's spark something up. But all in all, lead with love, lead with peace. I love you guys. Have a great day. I hope you conquer your day and I hope nothing stops you. Have a good one.